The Second World War saw unprecedented tactical and strategic moves on many fronts in many geographical areas. One of them was the Ghost Army, which was not even explained for a long time after the end of the war. If you are ready with your coffee and in front of your screens, here we go. The main purpose of the Phantom Army was to distract the German army and create advantages for the Allied countries. This mission was carried out in a highly secretive manner and succeeded. This army included artists, engineers, advertisers, painters, radiographers, sound engineers, architects and actors. The average IQ of the Ghost Army, one of the most diverse units in history, was 119. Nazi Germany was certain that the Allies would land. However, it was not known exactly where the landing would take place. Hitler assigned Erwin Rommel, one of his most trusted commanders, to prepare the defense against this landing. The Allies were preparing for an unprecedented operation. The Allies planned the landings through Normandy. There was no way to move over a million troops while hiding them from the Nazis. But there was no chance for this huge army to make a wrong move. A small mistake could be the undoing of a huge army. For this reason, they tried to give the impression that the operation would not be in Normandy, but further north, in Calais. The idea of dividing the troops by sending troops to Calais did not make sense. It was at this stage that the idea of the Ghost Army emerged. Hitler was prepared for the Normandy landings. However, as a result of the latest intelligence information, he directed part of his army to Calais. German reconnaissance planes were in the area, spotting supply trucks and tanks and informing the center. German spies also transmitted information from the region, which led to the idea that Hitler should pay more attention to Calais. But this was one of the biggest deception operations in history. The Phantom Army was doing its job of distracting Germany quite well. Hitler's attention shifted from Normandy to Calais. The Phantom Army created hundreds of planes, tanks, trucks in the area. These planes, trucks, tanks, artillery, jeeps, fake headquarters, fake outposts created by the Phantom Army were quite convincing from a distance. This equipment could be assembled at a moment's notice and shipped to another region very quickly. The division of 30,000 men could be moved very quickly and German intelligence could be misled. They used this advantage very effectively to mislead German planes on reconnaissance flights. It was unthinkable for such a large army to be silent. But these artificial vehicles and military zones were very quiet. For this, a sonic deception unit was created. The unit created sound recordings of loud trucks, the sound of artillery fire, the sound of bridge construction, and even the swearing of sergeants. They continued to deceive the Nazis with loudspeakers that could be heard 25 kilometers away. The Phantom Army didn't stop there. They began to distract the German army at will by emitting deceptive frequencies. In its report sent to the center, German intelligence conveyed that there was a great military preparation in the region. With these impressive deception operations, they convinced Germany that there was a large military contingent in the region. The deception operations bore fruit, and the Germans did not withdraw their reserve troops from Calais after the Normandy landings began. These successful deception operations were a great relief to the Allies. This success of the Phantom Army was then used on other fronts. It continued to be actively used on other fronts to distract Germany and keep it away from the main theater, or to divide the German army while helping the main theater. 
These deception operations played a really big role in winning the war. They saved the lives of many Allied soldiers. In the Ghost Army, 30 members were seriously wounded and three were killed in action. After the end of the war, the Ghost Army's mission ended. It was strictly forbidden for members of the Phantom Army to talk about this unit after the war. No military or political statement was made about the Phantom Army until 1996. In 2022, US President Biden signed a decree to award the gold medal to members of the Phantom Army. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts and ideas about the video with us in the comments section. You can also turn on notifications to get more content and be part of our community. See you in the next video.